Let's take a closer look here at the X-ray daemon. And I said earlier when we were looking at the anatomy that we do not send our segment data directly to the KMS API. What we do is we send it to the daemon and then the daemon buffers it and then sends it off uh, to the uh, KMS API. So let's look in that more detail. So instead of sending your traces directly to X-ray, the SDK sends JSON segment documents. So that's what this, the segments are made of, JSON files, to a daemon processing listing on UDP traffic. So here's our SDKs and other clients. And here it is sending that JSON document to the X-ray daemon, right? And then the X-ray daemon buffers segments into a queue and uploads them to X-ray in batches. So the idea is that it's creating this buffer. And this makes sense because if you are sending instrument, uh, if you're sending uh, logging or instrument data, you're going to have a lot of requests. And so you don't want the API to be uh, flooded there. So this is acts as a buffer. Uh, and then there it is sending the batch uh, information to X-ray API so that it's not so burdensome. Uh, you can install the daemon on Windows, uh, Linux, and Mac, and it's already included on Elastic Beanstalk and Lambda platforms. So I think when you're using it, like when you're using the serverless, uh, like you're setting up a serverless application and you turn on X-Ray, there's already a daemon running there. I don't know where it is, but I know it's working. And it looks like you can also just set one up locally for development. Um, and X-Ray uses trace data from the AWS resources that power your cloud applications to generate a detailed service graph. So that's just to say all this segment data turns into that graph. So. You know, hopefully that uh, makes clear the utility of the X-ray daemon.